Okay, I'm back to my black hole mission. And I got my wire soldered to my pop bumper coil. So this whole mech has been rebuilt and is happy. And in the last video, I noticed that this pop bumper switch stack was missing two switch blades. So I went to storage and I found a replacement. Voila. But I noticed this when I did the last black hole. Uh, I noticed the hard way. So I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Do you see what the issue is? Not all switch stacks are created equal even though they're from the same machine. The spacers are actually different size sizes. So I can't just replace this one with this one because it will um, mess with everything. Oh, what is this? Just a little bit of solder? You see that? Hmm, well, it looks... It's probably solder. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to just do is just steal this portion of this switch stack and add it onto that switch stack. Clean everything up. And it's tight space to work in here, so what I'm probably going to do is remove the drop target assembly because it needs to be cleaned up and drop targets need to replace. So I'll probably remove this and then I'll have better access to this because I'm going to want to take this apart and clean this up as well and then do that for the other pop bumpers. So one pop bumper at a time. All right, this pop bumper. Let's throw in the flash. It is all cleaned up. All these parts. This is the leftover switch. And I've got the switch stack installed. Perfectly centered. And clean the switch blades. Kind of cleaned up the area. I tried to clean up the coil. It was pretty black. Came out a little better, but eh, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be a lot better than before. Uh, so, I'll install that now, and that will mean only two more pop bumpers to go. Okay, pop bumper number two with missing switch blades and just all around dirty. Is now all happy. Spoon switch is all clean. New coil sleeve. Everything's just kind of tidied up. And I think I'm going to adjust that up a bit so that it's kind of like at the end of the stroke. So that it doesn't break again as easily. You know what I mean? I could probably still go a little more. There. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, well, that's done. I don't know if I showed this, and if I did, it was brief, but this is the old coil sleeve for that pop bumper. This is original. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, where did I see? There's like a, yeah, it's like split there too. Yeah, so that's uh, about 40 years of pop bumping right there nasty okay I've been working on the black hole those last few uh, segments were a few days ago now and uh, since then I brought in ACDC into the games room which is distracting me from black hole so I want to go work on ACDC but in order to do that I must discipline myself and at least accomplish something on black hole before I go over there so that's going to be my new strategy do one mech on black hole then go play with ACDC do one mech on black hole then go play with ACDC so I'm going to wrap up this video shortly um, I've rebuilt these two pop bumpers today is going to be this pop bumper at the least rebuild this guy and then I will be going to play with some ACDC and I'll probably do that in its own separate video because ACD restoration will be a lengthy one 
and I will probably have a few segments on that. So anyway, I'm working on the black hole again. All right, that's all taken apart, cleaned up. There's the old and new sleeve. I'll install that and then uh, I can go play with the ACDC. Okay, so that third pop bumper is now rebuilt. And then I forgot, uh, there is one more pop bumper to go. Is my switch stack intact? Okay, good. That makes it a lot easier. And it's right on the edge too, a little more accessible. So that's good. And then uh, I went and checked all of the fuses. I removed them, tested them, checked for proper amperage. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, bless me. Uh, so that is now done as well. So I'll put a small dent in this. Next thing will be that other pop bumper. Lots of fun, I know, but now I can go play with my other new toy.